Toyota BZ4X pros and cons in just five minutes. This is Toyota's essentially first long-awaited EV launched in May of 2022, but did Toyota do enough to compete with the most popular EV in the world, the Tesla Model Y? Well, let's take a look. Now, usually this is the part of the video where I list the awards earned by the EV that I'm talking about, but this is the first time I'm reviewing a car that has None. Toyota also doesn't report individual model sales, so it's impossible to tell how well it is selling. So with that out of the way, let's get to the very first pro, which is the price. The BZ4X starts at around 43 grand, which makes it one of the most affordable electric crossovers on the US market, behind only the Hyundai Kona EV and the Hyundai Ioniq 5, Volkswagen ID.4 and the Kia Niro EV. Though it should be mentioned that the BZ4X is not qualified for the $7,500 US tax credit for now. Let's get to the first con and it is the second most important number behind the price for any EV and it is the range. The BZ4X's EPA range spans from 242 to 252 miles, depending on the trim. Most of the popular electric crossovers, however, have the range way above 250 miles, and many have now crossed the 300 mile mark. Now, I should also mention that for some odd reason, the BZ4X's European range numbers done in the WLTP standard vary drastically from countries country to country. For example, in Germany, it's listed at 514 kilometers, where in the UK, even the best option is only at 436. The pro number two is surprising and unusually adorable one that I have ever done for any EV that I have covered so far, and I'll tell you what it is in just a second, but before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Energy Pal. Are you thinking about going solar but not sure what panels to get, whether or not to get a home battery, or how much all of this is going to cost? Well, Energy Pal will do all of that for you, and you will get a $500 gift card when your installation is complete, if you use the link in the description of this video. They even have this EV calculator that will tell you exactly what system to get, so it can handle charging your EV all year around. That link is down there as well. So the fun pro number two for the BZ4X is the fact that it is the friendliest EV I've ever seen if you have a pet. Look at all of these accessories and add-ons that you get for your dog or a cat or a pet snake, if that's what you're into. Back to the cons, and the second con for the BZ4X is that it hardly has any driver assist features that we didn't have 20 years ago. Obviously, Tesla has the best one on the market with its autopilot that comes free, by the way, but many others also have something to offer. Ford's Blue Cruise, Nissan's Pro Pilot Assist 2.0, and GM's Super Cruise, to name a few. So someone tell Toyota that adaptive cruise control is no longer going to cut it. Switching back to the Pro, Colin, the Pro number three is something that Toyota, much like many other large legacy automakers, have on younger or smaller companies like Tesla, Rivian, Polestar, Jaguar, etc. And it is an abundance of service centers. Just in the US, Toyota has about 2,500 of their own, plus thousands of independent shops all over the place. Now let's get to the con number three, and it is a quite pathetic zero to 60 mile an hour time. The best number listed for the BZ4X is 6.5 seconds. Now two more random things to add about the car. One of them being the DC fast charging rate, filling up the battery from 10 to 80% in about 30 minutes, which also comes with a perk of a one year free unlimited charging at all EVgo charging locations. In Lastly, I gotta mention that even though the BZ4X has only one NHTSA recall, it is the most embarrassing of them all. Toyota had to recall all of the units last year due to a danger of, and I kid you not, the wheels falling off. So can the BZ4X compete with the best in class? Well, that's why I made another video comparing it to the Model Y, and you can watch that video right here. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.